So I just uh, installed these carpet mats on the steps here. They come uh, preformed and ready to go. I just replaced these five-year-old carpets um, that were on the steps before. So in the, in the video, you'll see me comparing these uh, carpets with this plastic cover here. These are a lot better quality. You'll see a few other things and a few pointers I have and a few comments I have about the steps folding in here and sliding underneath the trailer and also what my comments are regarding the steps that fold into the trailer. So anyway, I made this video and and showing just changing out this one. There's some people out there that are unaware of these that are getting new trailers and it's an easy install. Anybody could do it. So I just want to share that. So anyway, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you uh, leave a comment. If you have another way of doing this, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments for other people to read or any other uh, tips or pointers that you might have. Share them with everybody. I do my best to get back to people when they write comments. Um, it might take a day or two, but I get back to everybody. Um, and so if you like the video, want to see more, please hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of future videos. So, and uh, I appreciate a thumbs up if you like the video. Um, thank you very much and let's get on with the video. Today I'm going to change out these step covers with new ones here, a better quality one. So these have lasted five years and um, they're actually made out of, it almost looks like a plastic here. And they're starting to show some wear. And it's just actually not working too well anymore. So I want to show you the bottom part of it. And down below, they're held in place like this with the springs. It's starting to tear, as you can see. So the new ones are a better quality. I'm going to take... Uh, this off and then compare it side by side with this other one I found that's made out of actual carpet. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. What it involves is um, me just taking these springs off here and then pulling it off. So I can see a difference in these when they're laid down side by side in quality. You can see here the two different materials, the plastic and the carpet. And then also the spring quality here. Here's the what the other one looks like. The quality of this one looks a lot better. Um, and then thickness. This feels thinner than this does. So if you ever felt indoor outdoor carpet, that's kind of how it feels. When I flip this over, the springs come off. But um, we see the bottom here is built real nice and it has a double pad here. It's like a double carpet right here where you step. Where this one has something under it, it looks like it feels like rubber slightly, but uh, the quality isn't there as much as the other one. So weight wise, this one's a little heavier. So the step here, I'm going to go ahead and clean this all off and then I'll show you how I replace this one and then I'll show you after I do that um, what they all look like. Um, the reason we have these carpets here is so we don't slip if it's icy or wet out and also to clean our, our shoes as we go in the trailer. We also have a mat that we put down, an outdoor mat that we lay down right at the beginning of the step. We clean our shoes off here and as we go in, uh, it helps clean our shoes and we have our shoes inside. We don't store our shoes outside because um, things can crawl into them and we don't want that. So uh, this actually helps a lot. We camp at the coast a lot, so there's a lot of sand. So we clean it off here on that mat. And then as we step up, it's cleaning our shoes all the way up. And then when I get home every time we go camping, I wash these off. 
We also have a big mat that goes around the trailer that we put down to, uh, so we aren't camping on top of sand. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, clean this up and I'll show you how I put that on the step. So let's get this changed out here. What I do is I put the springs all towards the back here. This is straight across right there. Then this will wrap around here and fold this up like that. I'm gonna go here. I'm just gonna clip this right here for right now. We'll see if I need it that tight or not. We'll put it on and make adjustments. Make sure I'm centered. I'm pretty centered on the step. Like that. Work it tight on there, just like that. When these came, let me go like this. When these came, they were folded and in this box, there's three of them. So I laid them in the sun for a little while so they would flatten out. But it works pretty good. There is a little gap here, but that's fine. The other ones didn't have that. It's a lot better quality material. So they're really easy to put on, as you can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the other ones on and then get back to you here and uh, we'll see how it turned out. So I'm pretty impressed with how these turned out. Um, they uh, will flatten out once uh, we go camping. We get some heat on them and step on them. They'll mold into place. Um, you can see that here's the mat that we usually use out here. They fold up easily. Go right in place. That's what you see when it's shut. Pull out. Just like that. I actually like the steps that fold up like this um, rather than fold up into the trailer for a few reasons because um, when they're out like this, you get dirt on them and everything. The dirt stays outside. With the other ones, you fold them up into place and they're they're up there and the, the dirt and snow and water go inside your trailer um, where this way it stays outside. Um, we did camp in the snow once and snow was all over it and ice and I'm like, I sure am glad I don't fold them up into the trailer. Also, I could be on all types of ground and just pull up, flip this out. It works where the other ones, you have to do a bunch of adjustments, I think. And then also sometimes they won't go down far enough where you can even open the door. So you have to move the trailer around or raise this side a little bit. So I like this.